There are times when you're creating a CV using Word 2007 or Word 2010 that you enter all your text and you find that when you press enter twice you get far too big a space in between the uh, heading and the start of the paragraph. You may also notice that the spacing in between the sentences is a little too wide. Um, this makes your CV look a little bit of a mess, it makes it spread out too far and uh, it could also affect the number of pages that it would cover. Now what we're going to do here today is quite um, an advanced feature of using word processing but um, once you learn how to do it you'll find that it makes life so much easier for you. So take a look at this example you can see the spacing in between the uh, rows of the contact information at the top are way too big and the same down here. So in order to do this we're going to adjust the layout of the template. Now you need to ensure that you're on the home tab and as you can see here we've got normal highlighted in the styles group and um, this is the style that is set um, for all new documents using 2007 or 2010 and the spacing is set at 1.5 which as you can see is a little too wide and there's a space after the paragraph of 10 points. Um, the most efficient way of dealing with this is to change the default style. Now with the um, normal style highlighted you can see that this is saying um, that we're using Calibri body here. Now in order to amend this you point to the normal style and you click your right mouse button. Um, a drop down menu appears and you need to left click on modify. Now the modify style box is displayed. I'll just drag it over here so you can see the effect that it has by changing the style. Now it's saying here that the style is Calibri body 12 points, so that's the height. Um, it's going to be left justified and this indicates the spacing. It also gives you a breakdown here of the style that you've got. Now in order to change this we need to click on the format option down at the bottom of the dialog box and we need to go and highlight the paragraph option so left click on paragraph and then we've got another dialog box displayed this time it's the paragraph dialog box and if we look at it if we have a look at the spacing area it's saying that it's going to put a 10 point space after each paragraph so that's there, there, there and in there and in there. So we don't want that we want to set that to zero so you can just click on the drop down arrow and set it to zero. Now here the line spacing is set to 1.5 we want to set that to uh, single and we need to take this box out. Don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. Just take that tick out. Now you click on OK and while we're doing this keep an eye on the CV and how it's looking over here. Let's click on OK and can you see immediately it has adjusted uh, the spacing on our CV so it looks a lot neater and not quite so spaced out. If you want to maintain this style for all your new documents um, you can 
Select this uh, radio button here, new documents based on this template. So you could put that in there and then every time you start a new document it will start off with these settings. Um, I'll leave it on there for now and we'll click OK. So as you can see, um, if I decided to add a further um, paragraph in this section, if I press enter twice like you normally would do and um, and uh, I just copy I'll just copy that in there and can you see the spacing now in between the paragraphs is fine and the spacing between the um, lines of each paragraph is also fine so this means now that you can get far more um, information on one sheet and um, it looks much neater and tidier so hopefully that will have introduced you to some of the mysteries of um, setting the style so I'll just do a quick reminder for you you right click on the style you select modify and then you click on format and select paragraph and then you adjust these settings in this area here and remembering to take the tick out of there and say OK and OK again so um, good luck with your CV um, we're going to make another short um, video on how to adjust your margins and layout in order that you can fit more information onto one page because quite often people don't always understand how to do that either.